Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show a demo of how we can redirect the end users to the service portal rather than going into the classic native view of service now. So when I say end users, I mean those users who do not have any role in service now. Now let's see how we can configure that before configuring that let's take a look whether it is by default enabled or not. So this is the instance and I'm going to create a user without any roles. So let's have to be a user table and I'm going to create a new user. Let's give a generic name which we can easily identify. I'm going to give uh, test underscore end for now. and i am not going to give any roles i'm simply going to click on submit button so we have this user which is configured named test underscore end and if i'm going to impersonate this user now so let's see what happens so i have impersonated this user successfully and this user uh, has access to the self-service view and is in the classic service now view which is the native view also and this is not the portal view but we want to configure a redirection from here that this user once i impersonate this user maybe when this user logs into the instance they sh this user should not be redirected to this view this user should be redirected to the portal view so now let's take a look at how that can be configured so first part of configuring this is we need to create a system property. Let's see whether that property is by default available in the instance or not. So the name of my property is glide dot okay. Entry dot okay. Let's see if something comes up with this. No, there's no property that exists. So we need to create a new property here. And I'm going to enter the value glide dot uh, entry dot first dot page dot script. Okay, this is the property, and the value of this property is a function call which is part of a script include. So, this is the name of my script include, and as per the syntax, we give new a keyword then the name of the script include and then the name of the function so this is the function that exists within this particular script include and let's save this and i think we are done so basically what is happening within this script include is they're checking whether the user is having certain roles or not if the user do not have any roles the user will be redirected to the service portal so let's take a look at this script include about how this is working so there is one script include with this name so this also makes use of this property in glide.login.home. So uh, this property will redirect the user to the native view if the user has any roles. And if user is not specifically trying to hit the URL, we'll take a look at this property in a moment. But first, let's take a look at the function which we are calling in our system property. And so this is the place where most of the logic is happening at line number 69 and 70 where it is being checked whether the user has roles or not and so on and accordingly there is something which we can also configure based on what is the requirement from the client whether for specific kind of users we need to redirect to a certain portal and for some others we need to redirect to somewhere else so this is the place where we need to configure such things now let's quickly test it out whether it works or not. So I am going to impersonate that user again and this time I should be 
inside the service portal when I impersonate this user. So let's click on the test end. Seems to be working. Yes. So I am successfully able to get inside the portal. So as an end user without having any roles, I was redirected to the portal because I had that system property configured and out of the box it works the way it is working right now. If there is some specific customization that needs to be done, uh, we need to do that in that particular script itself. Unfortunately, I cannot click on end impersonation from here. So let me quickly log out from here and go back to my login. So here we are back with the admin login. So I was talking about the glide.login.home property. So let's see what exactly that property refers to. All right, so it redirects us to a UI page. And this is the society of the UI page, so let's check out what this UI page is all about. Okay then. Let's pass the society here. So as I said earlier, if the user has roles, and if user is not trying to specifically hit the portal URL, then the user will be redirected to this particular page, which is configured as part of this UI page and the society is mentioned in that glide.login.home system property. So let's click on try it. So this is the page actually. Uh, when we first log in, this is the page we get. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.